Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, if you clicked on this video, then you are obviously looking for more information on Wigovi, which is exactly what I was looking for. Um, and unfortunately, I was just having a hard time trying to find the information. I'm like, this drug was just FDA approved. But other than like doctors, there were just very little um, information from just like regular people like me and you. That were offering up information so I thought you know what I always already have a YouTube channel why not show what I'm dealing with and share some information since I'm just getting started um, and then take you along my journey also in the comments let me know what your experiences are and then we can kind of make a community in the comments hopefully to share what we've gone through or um, cheer on each other's weight loss journey and things like that so hopefully you know you get something out this video and I don't take too long I did make some notes because I wanted to be able to give you all the information that I have in one place so you don't have to just can keep clicking all around different videos so um, yeah let's get started what is Wagovi? Wagovi is a new FDA injectable once a week weight loss drug um, it was pre well it still currently is under Ozempic, which I believe is geared towards those that are diabetic, but this one it may be under the same company, but it's branded Wagovi. Um, it is let me get this right because I wrote it down. Um, it's got an ingredient called semaglutide, semaglutide, which is a hormone. Um, it increases with the brain. It increases what well, it controls your appetite with the brain and then with the stomach it slows down digestion. So that is pretty much the whole point of it. Now it is a once a week injectable. I'll start with that. It looks like this. I said a pill, <laughs> but it's an injectable. Um, there's already a preloaded needle in there. So if you're afraid of needles, you don't have to see it. This little window here um, once you inject it, there's a look like a little blue bar or yellow bar that actually goes all the way down and it clicks twice to let you know that um, you have indeed injected all the medication. So I've already taken a couple of them. I just, this is not my first one. This is, I just took my third one. So I've been on it two full weeks um, to get started. So this is the box. Now they come in 0.25, so that's the starting injection that you'll take, and you take once a week on the same time every day. I take mine on a Friday. It starts at 0.25, and then it goes up to 0.5, and then 0.1. So I've got them here. So I've got my doctor gave me like <laughs> I guess it's a three-month supply to get me started. So. Each box is around $1,500. Um, my insurance, I've got Anthem. They covered the cost. Uh, I would have had a $75 copay, but with a coupon that you can get off of the Wagovi website, I only had to pay $25 for each box. So that's that. I get high flashes too. And that was another thing, reason why I wanted to do this because one of the reasons why I started on Wagovi was because I am 45 and I am in perimenopause and I've never really had a weight issue before, but um, I just found that the last, year, actually a couple years, my weight has been increasingly going higher and higher no matter what I do, no matter how much exercise that I was doing, um, no matter how much I cut back. And I was just like getting so frustrated. I'm like, this just, something is off here. So I started reach, researching about um, menopause and, you know, people that have, whether I was insulin resistant or something. I didn't know, but that wasn't the case. It was just literally an issue with me not being able to, um, I guess my metabolism slowed down and, you know, I was getting belly fat, and anyway, I was just having a hard time with it. So yeah, you'll find out that I do have high flashes with this. So back to Wagovi. So my my highest weight, my starting weight was 247. Now I will say that I'm tall. I'm about 5'8", and um, I do weight lift. I do, I work out with a trainer on the weekends, so I am constantly losing weight. So um, even though that weight is 247, if you, I'll inject some pictures because that was another thing. I don't really see pictures of nobody. 
I don't even want to see the whole body. Like, are you tall? Are you short? Like, what are we working with here? Not that it matters what you look like, but just kind of, I'm visual, so it's nice to have a uh, reference point. So, um, again, I'm tall. Um, I put a picture, like I said, I put a picture somewhere here. But, yeah, I just noticed, like, my face was getting chubby, and I was just getting, like, big. And then when I did my, uh, my, um, my blood panel, it showed that I was pre-diabetic. I'm like, oh no, something has got to give. But anyway, let's just talk about how my first week went. My first week, again, I started at, what did I start at? 2.47. And then within a week, which would have went into Thanksgiving, um, I had dropped like two pounds. Um, and then after the next week, I dropped another pound and a half. So maybe roughly around four pounds. So the first thing I noticed when I first took the shot, because I was so excited, it came to me, and I was like, ooh, ooh, you know, I was so excited. But before, I, let me just kind of back up. The lady was telling me, she's like, well, you can inject it into like any fatty part of your body. That's not going to be a problem. Like, what? Why are you just going to say my arm or my thigh, my, my arm, my thigh, or my stomach? Like any fatty part, pick a part. I can, I can hear, I can, do. anyway, um, I use my stomach injected it in so immediately i want to say within the next 20 minutes i started feeling so tired i'm like man i'm like really getting fatigued to the point where i'm not a napper like i don't nap i had to log off because i was working from home that week log off and like go lay down because i started feeling extremely fatigued almost as if i had took a sleep aid or something so if you're going to try this for the first time, I would definitely suggest maybe doing it on the weekend so you can kind of see how your body's going to feel. Even the next day when I was supposed to work out with my trainer, I couldn't do it because I was just like so tired. Um, I also noticed that I started feeling like a slight headache. It was slight enough where I really didn't need to take anything. And that was my experience with the first week. So the second week, um, I noticed that the fatigue kind of went away. and um, But the headache was just slight enough. It was just like in the background kind of running like an app in the background the headache was but I also noticed that I started feeling a little nauseous um, I would eat something small like a fruit cup or something like that um, and that kind of helped with the nauseous a little bit but again that was that was like another app running in the background I just start feeling nauseous now symptoms Fatigue, slight head. I went over slight headache. I went over that. I did notice that a lot of people were talking about constipation. I really didn't notice a lot of constipation, but again, I usually what do I do with it? We'll take um, our Premier protein. I don't know if you can see it. I'll like put some of this in my coffee, or I'll drink one of these as a snack. Now, and this is just so I can get some protein in because it's like 30 grams of protein in here so I'll do that um, but I also noticed that I always kind of make my bowels a little loose so maybe that's why I'm not getting the um, the constipation because it does I mean it just keeps me regular I mean you got coffee on top of it so I don't know um, now the one thing that I noticed that was like amazing and I did share this with my trainer was that my cravings like oh my god I would crave like salt and sweet if I'm stressed I was craving salty like chips um, any salt that you were going to get from anything not you know, so I noticed that that was like a big thing for me the second week Which it was almost gone like I'm like I was always going to the store when I would get my groceries I would get a bag of Doritos and some other things because I'm like I know I'm gonna have a salty craving So I would just grab one right I bought it, but I never opened up the pack and I'm like, oh wow So that was the first thing that I noticed was that the cravings had just about disappeared. Um, another thing I noticed, like you're not hungry. The the headache that was running in the background and then came to the foreground, that was because, wait a minute, you haven't eaten all day. Like I had like a light breakfast, like one of them little instant packs of oatmeal. I ate one of those and I think I had a piece of toast and some coffee. And that was probably at eight o'clock. And by two o'clock, I realized I hadn't eaten anything. I'm like, okay, I need to grab something. So I had a banana. Like, so that's what my experience was. Now, I will say that being on Wagovi, it, again, it suppresses your appetite. But you have to make healthy choices. If you're not hungry, like, don't go eat the worst thing because you're not hungry. 
it allows you to make healthier choices because it like gives you extra willpower or something. I don't know, like it's not a magic elixir or anything, like you still have to do the work. You don't want your weight hanging off you. So even some light walking, you know, clean up around your house. Um, if you're in my age range, like I said, I'm 45, I'll be 46 in 2.1 seconds. Um, but yeah, um, some light weights just to kind of keep your strength up. But um, I'm hoping to lose a total of 50 pounds. Like, I just want to get right up under 200 pounds. Because if I'm at 200 pounds, I probably look like I'm about 160. Because I hold my weight good, I guess, whatever that means. But, yeah, I want to make sure I'm hitting everything on this list. FDA approved. Um, my weight gain was very gradual. So when I was like looking at PayPal, because I've been tracking my weight in PayPal again, if you don't have the PayPal app, I would definitely suggest you try it out. You can just see 203, 208, 211, 215, 213, or 15, 13. Can I count? <laughs> 218, 223, 212. It just kept going up. And I'm like, what is happening? Now, when I looked at my weight gain from like the whole pandemic, it was like 10 pounds. So it kind of leveled out. The doctor did not put me straight on this. Like I was seeing a nutritionist. Like I was going back. We were just kind of talking about my eating habits. And I like every time I went back, I was like more and more frustrated. I'm like, I'm doing everything and nothing is freaking happening. So I need some help here. Um, me, I'm not opposed to, you know, pills or shots or you do what you need to do to make yourself healthy and to give yourself the best possible chance that you can. So, you know, if you think you're just going to take this and then eat whatever, it may make you a little sick if you overeat. I haven't experienced that, but that's like when I'm looking through videos, um, trying to find information, that's something that I've seen a lot of people say. It's like, man, um, I overate and so it kind of made me sick. So if you have an issue with maybe overeating and it's more emotional, then I would definitely uh, work with some, you know, therapy or like a group counselor or something to kind of uh, work on that issue uh, because then the overeating could be a symptom of something else. Now, I ain't no doctor. I'm just telling you what I read. I'm just telling you what I saw and hopefully, you know, it helps. So I'm just saying that's what, you know, I have to do for my mental health too. Um, now, even though I didn't have a whole lot of weight loss, because I've seen some people, man, I lost seven pounds, I lost nine pounds, I'm looking at this like, okay, so this is like two pounds, seriously, like, you want this weight to be falling off, but I had to realize, and that's why I mentioned the PayPal, like, my weight gain was like really gradual, and so it needs to come off gradual in order to stay, and then again, I'm, it's giving me that strength to make the healthier choices, not all the salty chips and things like that, so, um, even though it was only a couple pounds, my clothes immediately started to feel looser. So what I thought I would do was just get a shirt that's kind of like tight, tight, <laughs> and like maybe just put it on once a week. And that way I can kind of gradually see, even if the scale's not moving, kind of see that um, decline in my weight or even just the reduction in my size if I don't see the weight drop first. Now, in the past... Uh, like after I had my uh, daughter years later, I lost about 50 pounds and I kept that off for like eight or nine years. But then life happened. My parents passed and I started making weight. And a lot of it, this is before I married, uh, Mary, perimenopause hit. Um, but, you know, I was able to maintain. But anyway, and I got off track again. I'm trying to stay on track because I just be, so you just got to follow me here. Um, what else? What was I saying? Uh easy to make healthier choices. Oh, um, I was saying that I was going to take pictures along the way. Um, the last time that I lost weight, um, I lost a lot of inches first and then the scale started to move. So if you're just starting and you're not seeing like big numbers dropping or anything like that, don't be discouraged because you could be losing inches. So we are gonna support each other. Just let's, let's rock with this. We got this. We got this. Okay, so talked about, oh, it says that the average person loses about 15% of their body weight. So if you take your body weight time 15%, you know, that could be an average. Now you could use, you lose more or you could lose less. Like I said, I'm trying to lose about 50 pounds because I need to get up under 200 pounds. That's, that's my goal. Um, also, if you're a BMI for, as far as being a candidate, if your BMI is 30 or higher, that would make you a candidate. Or if your BMI is 27 or higher and you have like some other health related issues like um, diabetes or uh, I guess high blood pressure, things like that, 
that could also make you a candidate. Uh, what else? Can I wait? FDA approved. I talked about how much it cost. Um, slows your food. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure that I got everything. Um, I'm trying to think what else did I want to know. Um, oh, one of the things I noticed was that I had a lot of more, I had a lot more energy. Now, when I was looking through the pamphlet, I didn't see that that was a side effect. So I don't know if you guys have taken Wagobi. Have you noticed extra energy? I mean, maybe it was mental. And I'm like, now nah, I got some help. Maybe I feel better, but I don't know. Um, I don't know. I was just, I've just had more energy than I've had in the past. So I've been able to get more things done. So that was another side effect or benefit side effect slash benefit that I noticed um what else I think that's it for now I'm going to try to keep you guys updated but yeah if you have any questions um for anything that I did not go over please let me know in the comments and I will see you guys on my next update thank you guys for watching and um yeah share this video with somebody that may be thinking about it or I don't know but I just wanted to be able to get some information out there. And I think as this becomes more and more, um, I don't want to say trendy because, I mean, obesity, obesity is a real issue. I figure, why don't these insurance companies like pay for the drug and then you won't have to pay for all these other drugs that you need to combat what people have because of obesity. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Um, Plus, a lot of people had that I've seen had had like uh, gastric by bypass surgeries or things like that, which I am totally not against. But I'm just trying to find something that um, some channels that maybe you were having perimenopause or maybe the weight gain was gradual and you just can't lose it or just whatever. I just basically wanted to get information about what people's real life experience was. So, um, yeah. That is my take for this video. Hopefully it's not too long and it was informative. But like I said, I'll see you guys in the next one. And I'll um, just, I like I'm visual, so I'll try to insert pictures of different stuff. So yeah. All right. See you guys later. Bye.